<laughs> he will be missed. Not really, but well. <laughs> What's going on, guys? This is Zach, aka Zio Fox, and if you haven't been able to tell already, we are indeed printing a coffin. Oh boy. <laughs> our file loaded up nicely as you can see it is the bottom of the coffin um, I tried printing it earlier with both pieces on there but it turned out way nasty and got all stringy so I, I found out that the best way to do it was printed in two separate parts it took a little bit longer but it's it is what it is but here is the first one we're going to get that saved up nicely, and then we're going to go ahead and save the top of the coffin. So we'll just load that. We'll get rid of this guy here real quick, and then we're going to load the other file, the top, does its thing, settings are going to stay the same, we're going to save this G-code saved then we're gonna kick it off over to the SD card and then guess what off over to the printer
bases came off the printer wonderfully and even though I had to touch the side of this up because of some stringing issues it really wasn't that big of a deal top however absolutely perfect I don't know if I can get all the detail in there or not but I mean y y you see where I'm coming from absolutely perfect I'm not too worried about the inside because it's not going to be shown as much if I wanted to take care of this all I'd have to do is take a little bit of sandpaper and some wood putty to it and it clean up beautifully the bottom on the other hand absolute perfection absolutely great other than a little bit of stringing issues on the side I couldn't be happier with the way this print came out I mean the wood filament as it is makes your room smell like a wood shop and it gives you impeccable quality especially printing at 0.1 millimeter layer height I am definitely going to be using this resolution more often when I use the wood fill but there you have it a completed coffin want to thank you all again for watching and stay tuned for the next ones to see what we can make out of this because I'm sure you might not guess what I'm actually going to do with it. Hey, if you want to take a gander at what I'm going to do with it, leave it in the comment below, and we'll see if you're right or not. And until next time, guys, as always, take it easy. I want to give you guys a sneak peek into the past of what I've done, so you should go and check out some of these videos. They're actually pretty cool. Oh, and by the way, you can follow me on Twitter right here. I do interact with you guys because what kind of content creator would I be if I didn't? You should also hit that subscribe button. Yeah, do it. I dare you. It helps me. It helps you. It helps us all.